Thanks for tuning in to this latest weather briefing. My name is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. I'm going to talk to you about uh, rainfall that's expected, quite widespread for Friday night through Saturday, then uh, ending Saturday night. Looks like Sunday will be dry. Um, but however, we transition into a Santa Ana wind pattern Sunday night, and especially Monday and Tuesday. So we'll talk about these uh, drastic changes in the weather. Here's the uh, overview. We do expect uh, bands of showers developing uh, Friday evening and continuing through Saturday morning. Some showers will continue into Saturday afternoon uh, and then tapering off Saturday night. We could see a few thunderstorms and those thunderstorms could have the locally heavy rain. I think most places will see a quarter to half inch but uh, locally around an inch in the mountains. San Diego County could be the most widespread uh, with the showers, uh, but showers will move uh, south to north pretty quickly into the Inland Empire and Riverside and San Bernardino County. We're going to see drying and weak offshore flow on Sunday. Then another system, separate system, dives across the Great Basin into the Colorado River Valley, and that's going to develop a pretty strong Santa Ana wind event Sunday night after midnight. The offshore Santa Ana wind becomes strong on Monday with wind gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour in the foothills and Inland Empire. We could see 75 mile per hour gusts in the wind prone areas and even up to 30 miles per hour in the coast, so keep that in mind. The uh, winds will be light to moderate even for coastal and valley areas throughout uh, the day on Monday and a little bit into Tuesday. The Santa Ana winds continue Monday night through Tuesday, so we're going to see humidity get to critical levels even though it, we're going to also see wetting rain Friday night and Saturday. Humidity is dropping below 15%, some areas below 10%. That's really going to dry out our fuels and uh, bring high fire danger because of that. So pretty drastic changes in our weather. Where's the moisture coming from uh, for the rain, first of all? Well, tropical cyclone Sergio, the remnant moisture, is uh, going to tap into an upper low that's sitting over the California Bight. Where did that upper low come from? Well, it came down from the north uh, in, the, in this amplified weather pattern. This is what I mean by amplified weather pattern. So that low pressure system that's in place came over this big ridge of high pressure that's over the Pacific Northwest. That's going to tap into that Sergio moisture. Now, uh, where's this uh, colder air and Santa Ana wind coming from? Well, separately across the Great Basin, um, and that's going to set up the pattern for what we call offshore flow or high pressure blowing the air from high to low. Uh, pretty significant setup. Uh, on Sunday night and Monday lasting at least through Tuesday. What are the rainfall amount forecasts? We, we see everyone's going to have a quarter to half inch of rain uh, most places. There will be some pockets with a little bit less than that, maybe northern Orange County. Now um, rainfall could be locally uh, adding up to a half inch to an inch, especially over our mountain areas as shown here. Some of that spilling into the foothills as well. How about those winds I talked about? Well, Sunday night through Monday night, the winds will be strongest. They're going to be pretty strong um, during the early morning hours, especially Monday morning and also Tuesday morning. We could see a lot of gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. This will be wind coming from the northeast direction. Notice some of those winds make it all the way down to the coast and also uh, the Inland Empire areas susceptible to that strong Santa Ana wind. Why are we concerned about the wind? Well, the fuel moistures um, were near record low levels uh, at the end of the summer. This was a uh, record-breaking summer in terms of temperature, first to second place in most areas. We are seeing those fuel moistures go up because of the recent cool weather and the rains uh, that we saw early October. And then, of course, the rains we're going to see Friday night and Saturday. However, those low humidities that I showed you can really make a rapid change and still bring about uh, dangerous fire conditions. The humidity is going to be below 10% over everywhere when we're talking about Monday afternoon and Tuesday afternoon. Some of those humidity values could get even low all the way down to the coast. We're also going to see some single digit values, which is just really dry, and that allows for the fuels to dry out quickly and um, compounds our fire weather situation when we have Santa Ana winds. Here's a summary again, everyone. Um, take a look at this and uh, look at the details for your area. The bottom line is uh, widespread showers developing uh, Friday evening continuing through Saturday, then a big transition to offshore flow, Santa Ana wind 
strong drying that uh, focuses on Monday and Tuesday. Stay safe, everyone, in these uh, fall-like conditions with the rapidly changing weather patterns.